Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Former Tesla worker has two weeks to accept $15 million award for racism at Fremont. Tesla Cybertruck's interior changes teased in Moss Landing appearance images. Tesla pushing FSD beta to wide release earlier than Elon Musk predicted. And Tesla reveals how its futuristic diner with drive-in theater and supercharger could look like. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. On Tuesday, June 7, U.S. District Judge William Oreck in San Francisco stated that Owen Diaz had two weeks to accept a $15 million payout for racial abuse at the Tesla Fremont factory. Diaz was a former elevator operator at Tesla's assembly plant in California. He accused Tesla of racial discrimination. In an order released on Tuesday, Oreck reaffirmed his decision to reduce the jury's award from nearly $137 million to $15 million. He stated that Diaz had no controlling question of law to justify an immediate appeal of the reduced award. Oreck further explained that permitting an immediate appeal would further delay the resolution of a case that is already five years old. Lawyers representing Diaz disagreed with Oreck's statements. They said a question of law related to damages for emotional distress justified an immediate appeal. Judge Oreck reduced the jury's award to Diaz on April 13. He also rejected Tesla's request for a new trial. Diaz's $15 million payout includes $1.5 million for compensatory damages and $13.5 million for punitive damages. The jury initially awarded him $137 million in damages, comprised of $6.9 million for emotional distress and $130 million worth of punitive damages. At the time, the judge concluded that the award for compensatory damages was excessive but would not reduce it to $300,000, as Tesla requested. He also lowered the jury's award for punitive damages. Oreck's decision was based on a Supreme Court precedent that set constitutional limitations on punitive damages. Under the Supreme Court precedent, punitive damages are typically less than 10 times compensatory damages. The judge awarded Diaz $13.5 million in punitive damages, nine times the amount of compensatory damages. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck's interior changes teased in Moss Landing appearance images. The Tesla Cybertruck recently made an appearance at the Moss Landing Megapack site in California. The uniquely designed vehicle attracted a lot of attention online, with images and videos of the all-electric truck being shared on platforms such as Twitter. Fortunately, images taken of the updated Alpha Cybertruck prototype also provided what could very well be a first look of sorts for the vehicle's interior. The original Cybertruck's interior was extremely futuristic, from its marble-esque dash to its lack of an instrument cluster. The updated prototype, at least based on images shared by Kansas BW Action News 8, featured several key differences compared to the Cybertruck's original prototype that made its debut in late 2019. While the new prototype's fit and finish is unsurprisingly rough, several key features are already evident. These include a completely revamped dashboard, while the original Cybertruck prototype was equipped with a marble-like dash that seemed inspired by the Model 3 and the Model Y, the new prototype featured a dashboard with an instrument cluster that seemed to be more in line with the new Model S and Model X instead. Also, quite noticeable are the updated Cybertruck prototype's pedals, which are as angular as the vehicle's body lines. Seats that do not seem to have lumbar support could also be seen in the recently cited vehicle, though this is something that might be changed as the all-electric pickup truck enters production. Perhaps most interesting, however, was that the updated Cybertruck prototype was running what seems to be the new Model X software. This is quite different from the original Cybertruck prototype, unveiled in 2019, which was running what seemed to be its own custom software. What this means remains to be seen, of course, though electric vehicle enthusiasts have suggested that some of the production Cybertruck's features may be quite similar to Tesla's flagship vehicles, like the Model X SUV. 
Elon Musk demonstrated one such feature during the Cyber Rodeo event when he showed off how the Cybertruck's doors could open automatically for its passengers. Moving to the next update, Tesla pushing FSD beta to wide release earlier than Elon Musk predicted. While on stage at the Cyber Rodeo event in April, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said, all customers who have purchased a full self-driving capability option in North America should receive FSD beta before the end of 2022. Like many of Musk's previous timelines with FSD, fans didn't put much weight behind the comments, but unlike many of his previous timelines, this one looks like it is coming true just two months later. On Saturday, Musk said, FSD beta was expanding to another 100,000 cars, the same number previously given as the total number of owners in the program. Following through, just a few hours later, we saw the software deployed to hundreds of owners, with safety scores as low as 97. Since then, we have received numerous reports from owners, in both Canada and the US, receiving FSD beta, and the requirement to receive the this new software update has now dropped as low as 91. We have even heard from a Model S owner in Vancouver, who opted out of the safety score program just over one month ago and still received the update on Monday. Unfortunately, this is little solace for those of you who have a high safety score and are still without the update. Tesla has not described their methodology for who receives it and when, and from the outside looking in, it appears to be completely random. However, with Musk's comments, combined with reports of low or even non-existent safety scores receiving the update, it looks like the chances of you getting it soon are good, it is just a matter of when. The new FSD beta version 10.13 would also be able to handle roads without any map data. In addition, Musk confirmed that Tesla vehicles would be able to navigate to a pin location, including in complex surface parking lots and hotel entrances. However, Teslas will have to rely on inertial measurement, wheel movement, and vision to navigate covered or underground parking lots where GPS signals are unavailable. Moving to the last update, how Tesla's futuristic diner with drive-in theater and supercharger could look like, revealed in new images. Tesla's futuristic diner with drive-in theater and supercharger station is finally becoming a reality and we get a look at what it could look like thanks to renders based on the construction plans. This project has been in the work for a long time. In 2018, Elon Musk said that Tesla plans to open an old-school drive-in, roller skates and rock restaurant at one of the new Tesla supercharger locations in Los Angeles. It was yet another, is he joking, kind of Elon Musk idea, but he apparently wasn't kidding. A few months later, Tesla actually applied for building permits for a restaurant and supercharger station at a location in Santa Monica. However, the project has since stalled, apparently due to local regulations. Nevertheless, Tesla still moved forward with a supercharger at the location, but it had to move the diner project to Hollywood earlier this year. Last month, Tesla filed the construction plans with the city, giving us the first look at what the automaker intends to build. We learned from the plans that it will be a semi-circular two-story diner with 29 supercharger stalls and two movie theater screens, but everything is from architectural plans. Ed Howard, an expert in architectural models, built renders based on those plans to give us a better idea of what the Tesla diner could look like. Obviously, he took some liberties for things that weren't in the plans, like the name of the diner, Milliways, the restaurant at the end of the universe, from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But for the most part, that's what the building and layout should look like. It looks like the right mix of retro looking, which was the original plan, and a more futuristic design, which was the new plan, once it got moved to Hollywood. The renders are accurate down to the bamboo walls that are going to separate the Tesla diner's lot from the rest of the block. We don't have a solid timeline on when Tesla plans to open the diner and it is going to be dependent on permit approvals, but things are moving forward. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.